What's up everybody? Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Well, the zoo is starting to look like something, I guess. It's still a lot of work, but keep in mind, this is a work in progress. As we can see right now, we do have a few things in the control again, finally. And we also have so financial stuff and like that. And we also have this habitat up here, which is of course still completely naked. And which we should also do some stuff with. So our tigers. No, I think lions it was, right? Yeah, we do have some lions for those for that habitat there. Two two of them and it's a female and a male one so that's particularly exciting so we hopefully get some smaller lion babies then as well well anyway let's move them over there the female one and then we also need the male one of course the african west african lion he's actually gold certified very good so you should be very very good as an animal in there so that's one thing well they're being moved over here now as you can see we also have the stuff center here and the keeper hut there so my keepers will also be able to well go around here if they want to and also feed the animals what we have to do here is we have to get some more donation boxes up and especially unfortunately or especially well i should say um benches yeah and this is also a bit of a problem here uneven placement so that is something that i really don't understand why they let me build those paths up here and i can't even place anything on them then so that's definitely a bug here because those boxes would perfectly fit in here so perhaps we can have something else because i really want to get my money here out of those thingies there so what we need to do is we probably will need to get rid of that street here once again and it should definitely be like that, that when you're building a street, you should be able to place something on it, you know? Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense why they would let me build a street here um, and I can't do anything with it. We have to smoothen it out, I guess. So we can do that with the tool here. So it shouldn't be that uneven then. And it doesn't actually cost us that much anyway, so that's a pretty good thing there. A dollar, I guess, by smoothening those things out here. If you look at it, it's looking much better now. Definitely, definitely really good game when you're coming in close though. So lots of details, good animations. I just love the overall look of the game. A very warm feeling to it. So that is pretty good there. So let's try it again this time. With again those paths here. Unfortunately, I cannot even place it now. Now it's possible. Let's get up here and let's try it again with the donation boxes. Nope, as you can see, we are still unable to place them anywhere, actually. Oh, yeah, here it would be possible now. Unfortunately, it's not possible anywhere else. So that is something we have to look out for. Now, we finally got the lines here. Beautiful animals. And here's the other one, Majestic. And let's see what they actually want. We first of all have to pause the game. Oh, he's already injured, Sally. So that is not that good, obviously. And let's have a look at the terrain that we need to do here. So we have, they actually want short grass, lots of it. So that is something we can definitely do. And as you can see, long grass also needs to be low there, really low. That is not something we can have. And also the rocks. We're going to have the rocks up here. Makes sense. Very good. So terrain-wise, it would actually be fine already. We do need hot shelter and they need grassland biome um, trees and bushes and stuff like that. So let's have a look at that. The grassland over here. And as we can see... We also have those really cool trees there somewhere. Yeah, this one here. I just so love that. We're going to have this one up here. What an amazing tree that is. I gotta say that. I love it. Okay, and we also, of course, want to have some smaller trees here and there. Um, They don't need any water, right? No, they don't. So it's really just grassland that we need to imitate here. So not that many trees, unfortunately. But what we can have, though, is a few rocks here and there, then, if we want to. So we do have um, a few more trees here, then. And also here, a little forest, perhaps, where they can hide if they want to.
These are just the trees, of course. There are more things coming then, and also some more some trees down here that give them some shadows there if they want that. And in such a big habitat, it actually doesn't cost us that much the coverage here with trees. So that's that's a good thing. Okay, we also want to have some rocks, of course, since well, it would just make sense to have rocks here. And you have so many different shapes of rocks. It's incredible. Unfortunately, what I find a bit limiting, though, is that you can't really build as freely as you would like in a habitat like this one here. The thing is that, you know, it's very limited here with the coverage. So once this reaches, like, I think in this case, yeah, 15, 20%, you're totally out of anything that you could do there. So that's not something I do like that much. Let's get some bushes in here. So that it doesn't look so naked around the stones there especially. And I think we could also have some, yeah, something like that. Actually, we can place quite a lot of bushes, though. Coverage doesn't go up that much then on them. Trees are much more expensive in this case. This is supposed to imitate grasslands, so I think it's fine with that. Okay, so we, we can't do anything else here anymore, though, because the plants would now actually go down. So that's not something we should focus on. What we do, uh, what we need, though, is something for them to eat. Unfortunately, I don't think we have anything to play yet, even though a lot of things, you know, overlap with other species. So that might be a good coincidence that we have there, perhaps. I don't know. West African lion, there it is. And yeah, we actually do have some en enrichments here. So we do have the sprinkler that we can have there. So we're going to have the sprinkler here close to the visiting places and also something to drink there. Two of them I think might be fine with close to the bushes there. One over here. One over here. And then also something to eat. Oh, and we also have some climbing frame here, as you can see. That's very cool for lines. This is a mod, by the way. Oh boy, this is not looking good around that. So let's have a look if we can place it any, any other way, I think like that here. Yeah, this is this is looking better there. We could actually have it. Yeah, wait a second. We could also have it up here. Guess we need to move it up there a bit. Then like that. That's a bit too steep here. No, that is too steep, unfortunately. But let's just have it down here. Where we have those trees there, so they can actually sit there and enjoy the day. Perfect. This is actually looking pretty cool there. Just close to that one here. Yeah, this is actually turning out like a very nice habitat there for the lions. We also have some other climbing tools if we want to. So we could have it here. This is much more fitting than up here, perhaps. Definitely. But we need to be careful, you know, if you like place them too close to the wall there, they might escape, they might jump down there. So we need to be a bit careful about the placement in this in this case here. But I think this is also looking pretty cool there. So they can actually sit up here and have a beautiful view around here in this beautiful area. Perfect. We can have it like that. 
And yeah, we also need, of course, something where they can shelter. So in this case, actually, it suggests me some basic metal shelter. I don't like the look of that, though. Basic metal. Actually, it's the only thing that we have here right now. So I guess you can't have wood shelter for lions then. So let's have one here. Very good. And we could also have one up here. I guess a smaller one, perhaps. Is that looking okay up there? Yeah, I guess. We could have that there. And then we also need some bedding. Can't have them let sleep them on concrete there. And also here. Cool thing. Very good. I do like this habitat here. We just need also some food here. So food large. The entrance is here. So my keeper shouldn't have such a big walk there over them. So we're going to have it here just in front of the guests then. Oops. It's unfortunately very steep here. So... Yes, this is good. And my guests can actually watch that. And then we need to uh, need to move the sprinkler though, because <laughs> otherwise the food will get all wet. And my lions will not enjoy that so much. Perfect. We have the food there. We have the lions in there. They should actually be pretty happy now. Let's have a look at them. We have the lioness down here. And hard shelter. Yeah, we need to unpause the game now. It's 100%. 75% welfare here for the lions. Perfect. And of course, what we should also do in this case here is definitely have a look there at my work zones because it's not a work zone right now. So the lion habitat here and those things here need to be in a work zone. Very good. It's work zone five. Um, let's rename it though to something more fitting lions and shops. Something like that. And then we can have their own keeper and caretaker for this area then you know so we have like now one keeper without a work zone perfect he goes for the lions and shops and also the caretaker so there is always someone who now takes care of them very good so my lions actually have it happy now the only thing that's bothering me a bit now is this area here where we don't have the donation boxes we have one here but that is not enough and what i can also see is that an animal died timber wolf he was a bit old there so no problem that's not that shocking and yeah he's <laughs> seriously ill injured so a vet needs to take care of him there that's important. And what we should also do while we have the lions in there? Well, we should have a bit of research for them. So we are researching some things here now. And the lion here, West African lion, also getting some research there for enrichments and stuff like that. So they actually have it happy and cozy. Okay, let's have a look there. Boxed outside of Habitat. Seems like that animal kind of is stuck in here. Oh, poor Flamingo. Look at that, he's trying to get out. But it's not possible. And look how the lines actually bump my guest score here from 1,300 to now 1,700 almost. So I'm pretty sure those lines will be a success. And people should be paying some money there soon. the lines in that park here. I do like it that we have it up here. So with the hills, of course, we still need to decorate the hill here a bit with some more vegetation. Other than that, looking good, except that we have 126 animal alerts. I, I gotta say that franchise mode is really hard in Planet 2. There's so many things. We have, again, 
a lot of diseases unfortunately so what i've already did what i've already done is i had another quarantine zone here quarantine building so we do have a few more of course there are more buildings coming around here we just have some open space here for now um we have that and i guess hmm I guess the vets, the number of vets that we have right now should be enough, to be honest. We have so many, five. Let's get, yeah, let's actually get two more. They're just so expensive. They're just really, really expensive. But it's so important to keep the animals healthy there. And yeah, as you can see, we do have quite the overcrowding as well in lots of habitats. So the, the flamingos here, lots of children, lots of little kids there. Perfect, he got out of the box, by the way. And yeah, overcrowding here a bit, I guess. And also, most dominant, my peafowls. So in this case, there are so many of them. And if one of them is sick, all of them get sick. And that's why we have so many alerts there all the time. Most of them are really just in Habitat 7 here. As you can see, 73 problems in this, <laughs> in this habitat here. This is just insane because we have so many of them. Now, what we can do... What we can do, I don't need to, to, to click on them now one by one. That would be really, really annoying and tiresome. So what we can do is what we, we need first is another trade center. So a good for staff. And then we have the trade center here, the African one. And I just do like to place those staff buildings here actually in this area there. Because they it just looks like a, a more complete um, village then, you know, for... For the center here that we have there even some of you might disagree but i actually do like it the way it is now and i'm just going to have another trade center here and now what we can do is we go for the animals and i'm going down to yeah the peafowls that they are look at that all of them are sick it's really all of them i think died of starvation that is not good so many it's incredible and all of them are sick. Now, what we could do is we could now select so many of them and just move them to the trade center. It's something I will probably do right now. Trade center is full. All right. Already have so many. So we don't need to click on them one by one, by the way. That's what I wanted to say all along. We can just take several of them, like the ostriches. We also have so many ostriches. So let's just take all of those male ones here that are adults already. And also some females. Oh, this one's too young. And now we can release them to the wild at once. And we get 100 branches points for that. So that's a really cool feature. I don't need to play click on them all the time you know i can just go browse through the list here and just take those out that i need to take out so for the flamingos here we have so many um female flamingos here also male we should also always look at the ages here you know i can't get infants out to the wild there obviously and once we have that we can release them to the wild by all at once get a lot of conservation credits for that and I'm rid of the problem there. But of course, you have to, you know, do it over and over again. That's a bit of a, a bit of a micromanagement level there. Unfortunately, I guess. After a while, it could get tiresome. Right now, we do have the major problem here. I think what we will have to do here at some point is box them all again. So let's do that. Let's box them all. <laughs> it's always a nice nice animation there once you do that and yeah it just needs to get out of the system here you know we do have several vets now working on that so hopefully they will be able to do something and look at so that those people here so many of them and also more and more people now for the lines there we still have the problem with the donations i'm going to do that some other time though all right so that's that um let's have a look over here at the wolves we don't have any wolves here. There is a baby wolf, timber wolf. Oh, and there's another one, a male, the alpha male. But I think we don't have any female timber wolf in here. Nope, it seems like we are not having a timber wolf, a female version of that. Oh, 
Oh, okay, it's on its way to the surgery because it has an illness. Okay, so we do have a female there after all. Beautiful. Let's also have some more decorations here. So especially, I really do like the grassland trees. Not the palm trees, though. That wouldn't fit. Very good. Oh, what the? What is happening here? No, that's working out. Not looking out there anymore, that obviously. Alrighty, and I really do like that entrance here. So the welcome sign into our little African village there. Which is starting to fill up there. Unfortunately, what I can see, no one is going over here though. Yeah, we can't change that for now. All right, looking good so far. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of those problems over there. And next episode, we're going to have something very cool. And that is the exhibits, finally. I do have some mods for that ready. Some building mods for those exhibition centers. And we're going to place them here, I think. Because that is just a very prominent looking area here that is still free. And... Also making the zoom more beautiful there. Stay tuned.